Hi, welcome to the Me and My Bass series. In the series, I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the basses or bass related, audio related stuff I own. I will tell you how it purchased them and why further I will tell you my humble opinion about their playability and their sound. Uh, today, this time's up, this episode, I changed some strings. A while back, uh, I showed you this uh, Squire Jaguar Troy Sanders bass. Uh, it was stringed by the previous owner with the lower part of a five string bass. So it was stringed as B E A D. He had adjusted the nut for the low B for that. Uh, I thought that was a great idea to play a four string bass, but to have the benefits of a uh, the lower part of a five string bass. A couple of weeks later, I read on TalkBase the story of a guy who bought a, a Riverhead bass, which was also stringed as B E A D. There was only a little problem. The bass was stringed like that for a couple of years and uh, the neck couldn't keep its stability and it turned into a banana. He uh, discussed the fact that it was better to have a bass, for instance, with a graphite neck for that purpose. Those graphite necks are much sturdier than wooden ones. I'm not worried in any way that this squire would give up the ghost, but I decided to convert it anyways back to into a regular four string after replacing the nut myself. And use my status energy base for the B E A D stringing. Um, an additional benefit of oh, an additional benefit of the status is the fact that it has a zero fret uh, instead of a normal nut, making it easier to put the fat B string uh, without any adjusting at all. Okay, both bases are uh, stringed up, and how does the Jaguar sound with its new setup? And how does the status? Come along. Well, let's check it out. The signal flow in this clip was as usual the bass direct into my Apollo uh, twin with an Ampeg SVT simulation running on it. I used the Rock A preset. Okay, I must admit, in every video I say the same thing, like I'm really pleased and stuff. But today I'm going to say something very different. I'm very happy with this string change. I'm surprised to hear how aggressive the Jaguar sounded and how easy it is to play five string bass on a four string one. If you also tried this or wanted uh, to comment in any way on this or maybe other videos of mine, please do so. I love hearing from you. Okay, that's it for this episode. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.